200 actual laps in this race. Not joking. It's a long haul, which is very shocking for us that we already have so many cars in the pits right now. That is uncharacteristic. But these are newer teams, and that's something that we've noticed so far for the weekend. Your leader right now, Fubar, with Flavor Ice in second. So first place, that green machine from New Jersey. Second place is coming out right now, Team Flavor Ice from Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's your second place car, diving into turn one expertly. Lilo and Stitch right now is in third, directly ahead of it, about to fall a lap down. Sandcrawler, actually Sandcrawler's nap ha has completed overtake, I just rechecked the lap timer. Sandcrawler's Sand 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 now third. Milwaukee Vegas Space has some pretty good pace, Patrick. Have you seen that? Yeah, the duck car currently the duck's sick. pretty good. Oh, and look and duct tape and zip ties. That's six and seven. Patrick, that gray and or, uh, brown machine hematite right there with the yellow letter, that car is in fifth place right now. It's been quiet all weekend, but it's actually cl crawling its way up. So many cars are breaking that consistency really matters at this point. Oh, no, of course, duct tape and zip ties got stuck behind some uh, slow cars. That's right, they have. They are right breathing down the neck of Duck fighting for six, but now Duck uh, wow. pulled ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pay attention to Flavor Ice for a second here. They're trying to catch Fubar, which is right there right now. There's first place going by. Second place, watch him make his way through this traffic here. Watch Flavor Ice get through. Catching Fubar Labs. Kansas City currently is standing in Flavor is looking to pass Lilo and Stitch Kansas City. Kansas City unfortunately in seventh place right now behind the Mario Kart. Oh and really heavy blade breaking into turn one just narrowly escaping a collision. Patrick like we were saying earlier it's a lot about not just being fast but how do you manage your way through the traffic. There's a lot of slow cars in this race going, going for Moxie. Play, Flavor Ice and Fubar now all on the same lap. Remember folks, the Moxie board is out there. Your votes matter. Your votes are powering Sandcrawler right now. Giving them the extra boost to win the weekend. They might not win folks. You know, Fubar set a 15.486 lap. The fastest lap of this day. The fastest lap even faster than yesterday in qualifying. That made pole position. They did. They had a seven oh, 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 oh. Uh, Huge pile up. How did he hit that pile up? Five five time? I think he got lost. I, I don't know. Is his GPS on? There he goes. Patrick. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like uh, the Midwest Stunners. Oh, no, they're going away. It is very slow. Patrick, yesterday, Fubar Labs had the pole position with a 1710. That's 17 seconds around this track. They have beaten their pole. They are at a 15 second lap. They're running a faster pace than at the beginning of the weekend. So what does that mean, Patrick? When they have an endurance race, why are they putting the fastest laps down? I have a feeling he's got the red mist is what it is. Patrick, I've also noticed his lap times are very close to Flavor Ice. I have a feeling that the second place car is putting enough pressure on Fubar Labs that they're panicking. That's right, he's catching up. He was about three quarters of the lap down, now he's only half a lap. Yeah, he is closing in. That, that, that time distance is only a couple of seconds. And he was two seconds faster on this last lap. And that's with Fubar pushing as hard as they can. And clean air now for for Flavor Ice, they now have the track to themselves. They can really put down hot laps. Well, Fubar is all in the backup. First and second is about to have a battle. Oh, no. But, oh, uh, it looks like the fire truck's having problems. The fire truck trying to come out, but can't. Get the fire truck off. Fire Get truck it. reversing into pit lane. Uh, that track is clear. That's putting Flavor Ice right next to Fubar now. First and second, ladies and gentlemen, are now right on top of each other. Now they're both going through traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the blue and the green car and how they have to navigate through the Moxie vehicles. Fubo on the outside, Flavor Ice down the outside. Fubo now pulling up 
pulling away. Power sliding through the S's there. Did you see them? Lilo and Stick in third place there. Holding off the sand crawler. Now it's Fubo with the Queen Air pulling away. The reverse has happened. Sand crawler stuck behind Mario Kart. It's Star Wars versus Nintendo. It is. Star Wars taking the lead. Kansas City pulling over in the middle of track. I think with an infraction or is it a, a problem? I'm not sure. Flynn, did you penalize them? No, it's just an issue with their car. They're going to lose a, a few positions right here. They're going to fall. Eighth place is going to be taking the two laps from the Mario Kart right there. Oh, no. That's the position they're about to lose. Patrick, Milwaukee Makerspace has pretty decent pace today. Ducky's in sixth place. They do. I'm a type the, the silver and brown machine out there. You know, I think they're ahead of them. Mario Kart is doing, Mario Kart's going a conservative battery, battery strategy. He's got to 36 volts, going 24 to last longer. Well, the way, the way the teams are racing right now, it's anyone's bet how this is going to spill out. A lot of teams are really pushing harder than I expected in this race. It's very surprising knowing that they have so much time on the track. We've seen other cars do that strategy uh, where they start conservative, wait for all the cars to drop out and break, and then hard. at the end of the race, throw in more power and overtake. Patrick, I think uh, Rizzo Racing has picked up that cue. They are, it looks like they are backing off, and Fubar Labs has now built a strong enough lead on them to hold things off for a bit. They've now completed around that. That's right, uh, Fubar Labs, almost a full lap ahead of them. That's right. They're catching up, they're going to possibly lap them. But like Lilo I said, we'll have one lap up on second place. Lilo and Stick and Sandcaller. Oh! Oh, there's oh, Fubar Labs! Place. Oh no! There goes the lap! Fubar Labs just lapping now Flavor Ice. Second place. Midwest Stoner is getting tied up in them. Getting into trouble now. That really is fortunate. That cost Flavor Ice about half a lap. Oh no, Middle Stunners again! Stunners hey, need you guys, what's, is there something wrong with your steering? Get your car off the track and fix it. You got time to fix it. We have got a long race ahead. I don't know what the problem is there. I'm not sure either. We'll have to find out. Oh, there seems to be a black flag out now for. Oh no! CCC Casey! What did you guys do? Not sure what they did. The hometown heroes have made some sort of infraction. Well, let's see what kind of penalty they're going to get. Let's see. Oh, they're going to do jumping jacks. Jack. You know what I think? It may have been passing under caution, I think, is what the plan was. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can't pass under caution. Passing under caution. It's got to do some jumping jacks. Can't do that, Patrick. You can't do that. Okay, getting back in. Oh, no. That means the Mario Kart is now past them. CCC Casey has lost the position to the Mario Kart. You can't pass under caution. No. And they got penalized at least one spot to go from 7th to 8th place. The Milwaukee's getting a little bit aggressive. They're squeezing their way through. I just saw them make the pass up here. That was a close call right against the tire wall. Inches away, but less than an inch away. But they made it through. They, they, they each on pass. Who our labs is just grinning right now. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen anyone that happy from New Jersey in a long time. <laughs> no, no, not since they reopened those bridges. Patrick, that might be the secret. All the traffic they have to manage, it's, it's intuition to them now. So many backups. In fact, two minutes the driver change. Two minutes to our first driver change. Every 15 minutes these cars have to pull in and change drivers, or at least change costumes. All right. First driver change in our 75 minute endurance lap. All right. So Lego car just managing up. Oh, one of the oh, tires is going flat. Traffic there coming down the stream here. Wait, Patrick, which tire is going flat? Which oh. one? Which one? They're both looking a little bit soggy. They look like Rice Krispies left out for too long. Very so poor Lego car. He's only done four laps. Four laps for rapid chargers, but they can get back with your boxy points, remember. That's a big gulf to make up. Well, if there's one thing they can do it, the giant Lego car is strong, strong moxie favorites. 
as Lego Car crawls into the pit. Here's the story so far before the first stint begins. Who are Labs holding out? Holding a very strong answer to Rizzo Racing second place. The Flavor Ice. Nick and Zip Ties now in the pit lane. Oh no! They're losing more spots. Blue Island Space is going to overtake them now. One minute to driver change. One minute to driver change. This is the Power Racing Series. We modify power wheels for less than $500. That's right, if you just joined us, this is a coast to coast national nationwide racing series. And you are witnessing the best way to spend dumb time. Oh, and we got a lot of mess up here in the turn one. Oh, and the, the unmodified Mario oh, no. Oh, the leader behind with Milwaukee just before the, the change for drivers. Get on, get on tables, guys. There you go. All right. There we go. Back underway. That's just before driver change, though, Patrick. That's right. 15 seconds. Just a few seconds left, and then everyone, you want to pay attention to what happens in the pits next. Looks like duct tape and zip guys have come out. Only to go right back in with the driver change. Driver change, mandatory driver change, everybody has the pit. Right, everybody Patrick. come back in. Let's see who are the first to come out. Jim, like, give me a pit report if you could. Alright Patrick, I'm heading into the pit lanes. For those of you watching, head on down over here and give a, give a good gander. We have the leaders, Hubar Labs pulling in first. Flavor Ice pulled in first ahead of them. That's your second place car. And they're getting out right now ahead of time. Hubar Labs now out second place. That's a half a lap gain for Flavor Ice from that. Big advantage to Flavor Ice at this point. But Flavor Ice has Pete driving. He's only put a few laps behind that. Oh, Flavor is looking really squirrely out there with a the new driver. That's right. Five by five timer out, sand crawler out. Relatively fast stop, Patrick, for a lot of new teams. I'm very, very impressed with the pit stops right now. Oh, wait a minute. One of the cars just threw a, a ball out into the audience there. That's right. It looks like the beach ball has been deployed in the race. Looks like most everybody's back out now. Patrick, those were really fast pit stops, even from the new team. That was pretty good. That was, uh, I think everybody was sub-minute there. Patrick, I think, I didn't see anybody do a battery change yet. No, I don't think so. So, some of the teams are asking to go another 15 years before their first battery change. So, the next stint is going to be very interesting. We might see them in there for a very long time. On the Lego car, just making its way. Oh no, something fell off the car. It looks like an audio cable. Yeah, there seems to be an audio cable. I wonder if that's from the PS1 car. They had an audio system. They, they do have an audio system. If that's the case, I don't know whose it is. Maybe it's Lego's audio system. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was Lego's audio audio cable fell off the car. Yeah, my Obviously, it's car. not important. And you know what? It's setting weight. It's being, it's now faster. Poor Lego car still in last place though. How's the back of the field looking right now? Back of the field is looking, uh, well, I mean, Lego car is back there, but Fubar now putting its 50th lap down. Lego car was only seven. So there's a big difference between first and last, but most cars have at least 20 laps down. In fact, uh, between second and sixth place, there's only a seven lap difference. Fire truck is in the pits yet again. Mar oh no. That means so one of the Mario parts. Yeah, uh, no, the other Mario part. Oh, and a 5 by 5 timer again in the wall. It loves the wall, it seems. I That's the third time I've seen it hit the wall on its own accord. Not with anyone around it, just taking the wall. I don't know if they're cutting the corner too tight or something. I don't understand. Maybe they have a lot of understeer. It's, it's very hard to tell. Patrick, I'm noticing a theme here. I am? And I'm noticing a, a... I might be smelling one of the cars right now. I'm not entirely sure. Do you? I might smell a, a motor. It smells like a motor right now. Oh. I don't know who, though. But every, one, every time the wind changes direction, I'm smelling it. 
And Subar Lamb sweeping by. Second place car getting stuck. Subar Labs is now just putting on a clinic right now. Oh, and CC Casey's having problems yet again. Oh no, CC Casey having to get pushed off. Back in the head. The Grim is shaking his head in dismay over something. He is not satisfied with what's going on right He didn't there. like my horn boys. He's giving me a dirty look. I think he wants you to take uh, longer cautions or not at all. I think local area cautions. Yeah. Might wanna. No, he does not approve of my uh, my horn guard. I don't. He doesn't want me to toot my own horn. I, I can see why. I can see why. It only plays one note. Patrick, turn one is turning into turning itself into squeaky corner. Oh, there's a Lego piece on the track, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> There's debris. We're not debris. Oh, so we won't throw a caution for that. Oh, Lego car lost the panel. Uh, they lost them. Oh, they seem to have lost a lot more than what I thought they lost. As I stared down one of the cars going at full speed. They've lost, they've lost the, some body work. Will that help you at any point? No. I don't think that's going to make them any faster, you guys. Oh, and we have a flip over hematite right there. Oh, no. I don't even know how that happened. Oh, and PS1's now stuck in the back. Oh, no. And they just can't move? I don't know. very slow. Very slow. I think, I think the minute they hit a wall, all the momentum they have because the gear just goes away. How are you so slow? <laughs> oh, and Hematite again, collecting tires, just taking the track apart or taking it with them. That's got to be a rebuilt. PS1 is going to the pits. Pulling into pits. Maybe going to put some water in their water cooling. Might be overheating, Patrick. Put some water in that water cooling. Kansas there City you know. coming back out of the pits. Another caution. That is Milwaukee Maker Space doing some damage to the tire wall. Looks like that's half underway again. Oh, and Lilo Stitch is getting a penalty. Not sure. Oh, no. What'd you do? I don't know. Might be aggressive driving. That seems to be the common penalty for today. Oh, and were they the ones who put Milwaukee yep. in the wall? We're getting them to do the chicken dance. Yep, that is the chicken oh. dance penalty. Oh, Lego car again in the wall. Really loving that part of the wall. Lego car just can't make that turn, I think. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words with that. Oh, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, those tires. How are those that tires? penalty has cost Lilo and Stitch third place. Wow, that is that is a stiff penalty there. Sandcrawler was all over that. Sandcrawler capitalized on it. Lilo and Stitch with a little bit of overly aggressive racing, and they lose the podium spot. Oh, and second place is in the pits. I'm not sure what's wrong, but that's the second place car, Patrick. Flavor X is in the pits right now. I don't know what he's going on. Trying to diagnose something. Yeah, I'm not sure, but that's the second place car. Oh no. Sandcrawler is now going to make up some time against second place. Sandcrawler. How many laps can it put down? Sandcrawler now has its game face on, suddenly realizing it has a shot at second. Oh, and a collision there, Pony Station 1 in the wall, yet again, I don't know why, but it's happening. Taking corners a little bit too tight there. Patrick, there seems to be some hammering going on. A lot of it. Yeah. One of the other Mario Kart's being worked on, the, uh, the Midwest Stunners also in the pits for an extended period of time. Um, I don't think the burger's coming out at all today, it seems. And right now, Sandcrawler's putting laps on Flavor Ice. Sandcrawler might get second place soon, Patrick. Only, a, only a three more laps for Sandcrawler, and that is your new second place car. That's right. And that also means Lilo and Stitch moves back up to third. Yeah. The force is getting stronger with the sand crawler every lap they complete. They're also
also running on a lower power strategy. It's clear that they're not, their top end is a lot lower than yesterday. It looks like Scott Rizzo's working desperately on the flavor ice. They may have melted, I think, their motor. Oh, the cooling fan broke. Oh, no. They're, yep, they've overheated. They're melted, melting their flavor ice. Here comes Sandcaller one more time. Lots of squeaking from the Hematite car, the rust themed ma machine. You know, with the uh, flavor ice having issues. Oh, we have PS1 again in the wall. No, it's moving. Oh, wait, the nut duck pulled in too tight around that hairpin. There we go, everyone's moving. It's real tight around there. Right. It's just the slow cars now coming down the back sides. Every single one of them. Slow around. I don't know why everyone's going so slow. Oh, something's wrong with third, second. Third place now was going to be Sand second place. Color. Yeah, what happened? You guys, you moved up to third. Patrick, this is unbelievable. Our second and third place cars are now going to get pushed back in. Patrick, they are in. We learned Stitch is now taking second place. Oh, I spoke too soon. It's the Midwest Stunners again. Back, they they can't out. figure out what? Out for like less than a lap and they immediately got into the car. figure out how to make a turn, guys. I don't know if they know how to do it anymore. Seriously, guys. Yeah. No. They're real slow out there, too. Sandcaller was running lower on power. I thought it was part of their strategy, but they weren't. No. So now, now here's the shakeup. Hoobar still first. Leo and Stitch moving up to second. Hematite now up to third and Chuck up to wow. fourth. Wow. Flavor Ice now falling down to fifth. Same thing with Sandcaller oh, down to and sixth. And the tire wall. They suffered a flip earlier today and hit the tire wall for the third time today. But they are moving into third place despite all of that. In spite of all of it, really. And are they still it's in the Midwest Stunners again? Did they go around or are they just hanging out there? I don't know what's happening. Do, do you guys know how to make a turn? Do, do you need instruction on how to drive? Are you good? We're still under green. Yeah, we're still green. Wow. So right now. Only seven cars out. We started with 13. Lots of attrition right now. We're, we're hitting our 50% attrition rate. Yeah. And we're not even halfway through this. Oh, and Midwest Stunners again. Midwest Stunners, you're having problems making corners? What's going on, guys? You gotta get the car off the track. If you cannot complete a lap, you cannot be out there Come like on. that. Oh, no. I think it's something, there must be something wrong with the steering. I think something's really going uh -huh. up on the steering. I don't All know right. what. Three minutes to driver change, three minutes to driver change. This is our second driver change. Every 15 minutes these cars have to pit and change drivers or at least change costumes. Patrick, we're going to see you and find out what's going on with our one second and third place cars. Very surprising turnout here. I and mean, oh, we did not expect this. But I'm going to see if I can get down to the, get down to the story, Patrick. I'm heading to second. Sandcrawler's pit right now. If anyone could yell at me, what's happening? We find something in our car, we're not sure what it is. Uh, there's some multipliers in there. So, so diagnosing that, I don't know yet, which is very dramatic for them. Let's go over the Rizzo racing and see if they've diagnosed their problem yet. Scott, can you give us a rundown while you're we put the controller, uh, our cooling fan went out and the controller overheated, so we're uh, swapping out controllers and should uh, hopefully be back in another couple laps. Another couple of others are racing, they might get out first before the sand callers because they're still diagnosing the problem. I already see the new controller on Rizzo Racing, so like I said folks, it's not over till it's over. These cars are not out. They are being fixed right now on the spot and you can watch them making their cars better as the race goes on. That's the Part of endurance racing that is the most surprising and exciting is a lot of the actions inside the pits right now. But yeah, something as simple, Patrick, as a fan going out, really the far more expensive part. Far more valuable part, at least. That's right, without a motor controller, they can't move. Patrick, am, am I seeing this right? 
Because Milwaukee makers are great. Duck. Duck is past Lilo and Stitch. Oh my goodness. Milwaukee has moved up to second place. Milwaukee makerspace is in second. Though the Lilo and Stitch is hot on their tail. Milwaukee makerspace, the team that hasn't. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. What's going on with Duck? What's, are you, are you kidding? Are you serious? No, you had. Second. You're in second! What happened? Patrick, is there anyone in this racing league that wants to finish second? Nobody wants it, it seems. Everyone breaks the minute they get into second place. The last three cars, the second that they passed into second position, they immediately broke down. The Duck may be able to pass some uh, lap cars and hopefully clear traffic. Maybe they can catch up with Leo and Stitch. So those of you just joining us, this is the Power Racing Series, under $500 electric car, where you take a power wheel and modify it into something crazy.